Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Metal Gear Solid. I have calmed down since our previous adventure in the torture room, and now I continue my quest to save Meryl. And also save the world from the Metal Gear. Did you remember that? Ben, if you have to ask Joe if he remembers something, the answer nine times out of 10 is going to be a resounding no. Hey, did you have a plan in mind on getting to the communications tower, or are you just winging it today? A little bit of both. The idea is I'm going to go back to where Merrill and Sniper Wolf were at before I was captured, since that had a level six door that can now be unlocked. Though I first want to make my way over to a few places from earlier, as there were locked doors to them. And I want to see if anything can help me out later. Interesting, that is a pretty good idea. I seem to remember there being another part of the wall that should have been blown up way back in episode two, where you fought Revolver Ocelot. But I don't think you actually went over there at the time. No, I didn't go over there, but now is as good a time as any since I'm in the area and don't anticipate I'll be coming back here for any reason aside from now. Glad to see this game is actually making you think about things you've done before. It's almost like this game is making your brain more competent by playing it. Perhaps if you finish the whole series, you'll be half as intelligent as I am. No, that is straight up cap as the youth of today would say. I have never been as thoughtful and focused in my life as I am right now. Sadly enough, I'm inclined to agree with you, but that's not exactly a high bar to reach. It looks like you got a camera from that one room, though. I'm not really sure how that would help you, as I can't think of any way to use it offensively. I don't know either, but I'll think of something. Also, I should say I'm back in the poison room, as I knew there was at least one door I couldn't go into earlier, so once I check that out, I'm out of here. Uh, I was hoping you wouldn't have to come back here due to the obvious reasons, but maybe there's something in here that makes it worth being in here again. I'm pretty sure there is otherwise. My name isn't Joseph Robinette Biden. I don't think I've met a single other person in the world with Robinette in their name. I didn't pick it myself. What do you want me to do? Oh, hey, a set of body armor that sounds way more useful than a camera. That would definitely come in handy, especially in boss fights. Yeah, I'll equip that soon enough, but my last stop is just checking back below Psycho Manus's room to see the last door I couldn't open earlier to see what's inside. Well, maybe medicine will help you, but I guess it's better than nothing. Why exactly are we doing a flashback to this? We saw it happen the last episode, and in game time, it's been like an hour at most. It's not that difficult to remember. Don't worry, Meryl, I'm coming to save you. I'll be there one of these days to find out where you went. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Sounds like a tall task for Joe not to forget. Joe, who are you talking about? Oh yeah, that's me. Snake, about Merrill. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. This may be important for character development, but wouldn't you think they would want to speed up Snake saving her instead of him doing a codec call, making no steps forward into actually saving her? I think you're right, but if nothing happens outside of the codec call, then I don't think it's a problem, since it's a game. Though I agree, if this were the real world, then he could probably move and talk, since that would be a much better option. Forget about Merrill. Stop Liquid. Oh, hey, Joe, did you hear that right now? Colonel Campbell just told the character you are playing as right now to stop Liquid, meaning they are two entirely different people. Did you catch that just a moment ago? I was checking my approval rating on Twitter. It's not looking so good now. That's the most accurate thing you've said in the whole playthrough. Jeans. What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. 
I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? Uh, New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Hold up now, she got to figure out who her grandfather was, but not her parents. Is there no Ancestry.com in this world? There's walking nuke machines and psychics, but DNA testing is still not advanced at all. I've just accepted that this world doesn't really make much sense. And they have a very interesting way of showing what has and hasn't progressed compared to the world we live in. Okay, guys, this is a very thoughtful discussion, but I'm not sure what's ahead. I need to be in my ultimate focus mode so I don't get caught by anything up here. All right, we'll stay quiet so you can focus. As long as I keep my eyes on success, then nothing will see me at all. Nice job, Joe. You lasted nearly an entire two seconds before a camera caught you. I'm sure they're glad you were in focus mode. At least your new body armor will protect you from some damage, so it could be a lot worse. It also looks like you picked up a rope, but I don't see how that's going to help you right now. I'm not sure either, but I don't really have time to think about it. Uh-oh, guys, it's Joe's biggest enemy, stairs. I think this might be the last part of the playthrough since we all know how Joe is around stairs. We'll be lucky if he doesn't stumble more than 20 times. Shut up, Orange Man. I can do this. You just have to believe in my ability to make it up here without issue. Well, the thing is, I don't believe in your ability to get up here without falling a lot. So even with the body armor and rations, it's a miracle if you make it up here in one piece. Now, I've proven myself up to this point. I'm making it up just fine. Joe, you have been doing well overall, but honestly, if we all remember you at the one ramp and that one plane, then we all know this is a big hurdle. And it was really funny, so of course we all remember it. I'm just saying your skill level in this game is good. But I can't blame Donald for being skeptical. No, I'm standing up for myself. You all have been doubting me this whole game and being sure I know your thoughts on it whenever you get the chance. I'm making it up here and you're about to see me succeed like I have been every other time. Perhaps you're right. It seems pretty easy to just hold the same direction on the control stick and move up without any issue so you can do this. Thanks, Barack. At least one of you believes in my ability to play the game, unlike the other two who don't think I can walk without stumbling over myself. You're out of ammunition for that weapon. Now you better find a weapon that will actually work. Maybe use a stun grenade if you have one. I'm using the SOCOM you can't make my decisions when it comes to this game, since I've been doing it nearly flawlessly. And now you're about to see why I'm called Joe Biden. Okay, so why do they call you Joe Biden? Because that's what my parents named me. Barack, do you see why we doubt him? It's because he's literally not a sane person. Nobody asked you election He goes nuts tonight. whenever he sees a PlayStation, one woman, or Super Nintendo dancer, or torture room. He is not fit to be in a nursing home, much less the president. And he's in charge of the playthrough. Now he's using my idea because he realized it would be better. How is it that your standards are so high for me to where I look at a stare and you start doubting me and meanwhile you have difficulty drinking a cup of water and playing golf? But Thank you're somehow you, not man. critical of that and Ben, you will never be the same popularity as any of us are because we're presidents. Fake meanwhile, news, you old make man. videos on how the Barbie movie is woke and how the left are ruining this country. But all of a sudden, the Republicans vote against any solution you offer. I am literally better than all of you. Okay, you're getting a bit unhinged here. Joe, I think we need to talk about the things we're saying in a more calm and rational manner. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't realize Yemen Destroyer here wants to mediate the conversation. I was half expecting a drone strike to the White Fake House news, midway through my last sentence, but I guess I was wrong on that. Is that the main thing you get out of life is acting like you're on the calm and moral high ground while the rest of us argue. Guys, really, let's just stay quiet for a moment to give ourselves time to calm down. I bet Barack wishes he shot that explosion there. It would have just been a dream come true. Damn. Snake! I'm 
I'm afraid I can't let you get past here. Liquid. You're not going any farther. Die! Are we all calm enough to make a decent discussion on ourselves now? Or are there any other conceptions and insults we want to give? Yeah, though I think we should have this scene finish out first. I had a rope. I should be able to use that rope I got. What are you going to do? Take on a hind with your bare hands? Now you're mine! If I stay here, I'm finished. Okay, so I'll admit I was a bit angry and irrational on my stair climb up earlier. I suppose for Ben it's not his fault if the discussions he creates don't get acted upon by others, and it wasn't right for me to say he isn't as popular. Due to him not being a president, is, that's not necessarily his fault. But for Donald, I do think expectations are higher due to some things like Barack being berated for wearing a tan suit. Meanwhile, you had documents in the bathroom without a care in the world, and me being portrayed as both a genius behind the scenes of many decisions who is ruining the country, and also a dementia-ridden failure sometimes gets to me. That and I've sent my own share of strikes around people, so I get where it comes from. Regardless of any of that, I shouldn't have said what I did towards any of you. Nah, it's all right, I'll admit, in this group specifically, I've been a bit weird being present so often when I'm not a president, and don't always feel like I fit in as nicely due to that, and your skills in the game have been quite good, and we haven't even edited out barely anything that would portray you as a bad player. I do think being the president must be a difficult job and it must take a lot to make some of the decisions that you do, not that it's an excuse if it doesn't go well, of course. And I know I've said some things in my past that don't make sense, like that thing about selling houses down that were in danger of being flooded and someone made a video about Aquaman buying them or something. I hope my doubts have not given you any stress or worry during this playthrough. I suppose for me, even though I still think all of the stare fails you've had are really funny, perhaps that doesn't mean you aren't capable of improving yourself especially on a video game. You have been doing well up to this point, and I can't deny that. I'm sure you'll keep it that way. And yes, I am hard on you for your presidential work, but then again, I do want you to improve things. It's just in a much different way than I would have. I get there's a lot of jokes about the whole bombing things, and even during these playthroughs, my reactions to bombs haven't made that less apparent. So I get where you're coming from. I do gain a lot of enjoyment out of being the moderator for problems, as I do like keeping things in balance as much as I can. I just prefer to be on that side of an argument rather than a participator. I hope that makes sense. I'm glad we're able to keep things together and not devolve into anger even further during this playthrough. There, I think that was a good way of talking things out, and now we can focus back on the game. I'll admit, though, I was only half paying attention to what I was playing, so I don't really know what was going on. You used that rope from earlier to go down the building to a lower level, and now we're just shooting other guys ahead, so not a whole lot. Honestly, I doubt we'll need the rope again, but it looked like an interesting change to the normal gameplay we've been seeing so far. Hey, I was wondering, so you have to use the diazepam in order to keep steady with shooting the rifle, but it seems to only work for less than half a minute before needing to take another. Is that just a typical thing where a tablet only works for a few seconds? That sounds kind of weird. I'd have to agree. I have no idea why it lasts such a short amount of time. That is rather strange. All that matters now is that I beat those guys and nothing is going to stop me from getting out of this place now. I suppose you're right. I can't think of anything that would stop you unless that Hindi came back to shoot at you again. I don't think you pronounced that correctly, but otherwise you are correct. That is the only thing I can think of that would stop Joe as well. Well, that was rather inconvenient timing. I suppose there's no reason why that guy in the helicopter wouldn't be searching for us now that I think of it a little further. It's fine, as long as you can get inside the building, you should be okay. Especially since you're right by the door now. Oh, well, you're right, that was a close one. I'm sure glad that door didn't have a much lower number assigned to it, otherwise it would have been game over for me. That would have been bad. Let's use the elevator and get out of here. Huh? Or not. I suppose now we'll have to come up with another way of getting out of here. All right, Joe, let's hear your idea of what to do from here. Uh, Joe, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I, I, I just don't know what to do. I've never played this before, and I don't have any other places to check a side form down here, so that's all I've got. Okay, you're right. There's not much else to do.
Well, this is certainly exhilarating. I can't imagine what the game is going to throw at us next. Perhaps another part of the stairs that is broken that we can't jump down for whatever reason. I really hope there's something new going back this way. Otherwise, I'm not going to have a clue what to do. If any of you would like to step in with a better alternative, then by all means do so. I don't want to be the only one guiding things here. Yeah, sorry we haven't added much ourselves. It's just that there's not much we can really do at this point since there's just a few dead ends in here and nothing good outside this room formed the way you came in. Sounds like there's something else here. Let's see what it is. Don't shoot. It's me, don't shoot. It's me, Snake. Otacon, how'd you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. What truck is he talking about? I didn't see any clear roads that would have led over to this section, even if there was. I don't know who would need to be driving here and for what reason. And evidently, the elevator was working better earlier since it's just not doing anything now. Like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Oh yeah, Meryl, I'm here to save you. Don't worry, Joe is coming for you. Yeah, we know you've mentioned it about 60 times now. There's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever loved someone? Ooh, I've loved Meryl ever since I saw her in the women's restroom. How is it that I'm not even surprised that you're saying things like that at this point? Do you think love can bloom even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I'll protect you from everyone, Meryl, as soon as I find you. So Joe, I'm curious, if Sniper Wolf comes back and you need to protect Meryl from her, since you're clearly infatuated with both of them, what exactly would you do in that case? I don't know, I'm just kind of hoping that doesn't happen at this point. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. Wait a minute, when he says noisy fly, is he talking about that thing that was following us earlier and blew up parts of the roof earlier? Does Joe have to fight him? Yeah, at this point, I'll just do it. I've got the body armor, so it'll probably work out fine. I just pretend like I'm not here, and then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. I still think he should have given Snake a suit that just turns invisible. It would have been really good earlier. It doesn't matter now, we just have to go on without it. Let's just keep going. Hey guys, since there's a lot of walking with the elevator not working, I think it's time I tell one of my stories to you all. Oh great, just what I needed. So there I was with my good friends Ugly Joe Harold, and uh, I was getting really mad at Ugly Joe since he said I was the ugly one, and in my anger I accidentally opened this ball that had some kid named Aang who was like 112. And he had the power to control elements, but he only knew one of them. I was told that he needed to learn them to save the world or something. So Ugly Joe's cousin or something showed Aang how to control water. Unfortunately, she turned into the moon and couldn't keep helping. But then Harold's cousin Gerald taught Aang how to control Earth, which was nice of her to do, along with freeing the city of Ba Sing Se. Then my former enemy, Nerald, showed Aang how to control fire, which was needed as Nerald's father, Varold, was trying to use a comet to control all the people or something. Iang fought Varold and took away his ability to control fire, which I didn't know could even be done. And the world was saved. The end. First off, that's Avatar The Last Airbender. Secondly, why are there several characters that all have names that rhyme with Harold? I've never heard of that before. And how is it that you pronounce the main character's name multiple different ways? Somehow that was still a better adaptation of the original story compared to the movie, so that's something. I suppose so, but that's not really saying all that much. If you're all done talking about anime or whatever it is, Joe has an important fight coming up. Oh yeah, I do. Thanks for reminding me. I almost forgot. 
All right, let's finally see what we're up against. Somehow I get the idea that this won't be very easy. All right, Joe, that body armor is probably going to be the best thing you'll have for defensive options and as for offensive. I think you picked up a Stinger missile earlier. That has to come in handy as I don't think there's anything else you have that will be powerful enough to hit him. That Stinger missile didn't really do a lot, but it does have that lock on capability as long as it's in the red square before you shoot it. So even if you're not too precise, you should still be okay. I know I've been doubting you a lot, but if you can make it going up two sets of stairs, then you can get past anything at this point. You got this, Joe. Thanks for the confidence, everyone. Is now a good time for me to mention I have absolutely no idea how to fight this guy. Like, I have no concept of what I'm going to do that will lead me to success. There is zero idea in my head that will lead to anything other than failure right now. Joe, get a hold of yourself. Just aim for the middle box until it turns red, then fire. Stay away from him while he's shooting or going to quickly or when there's something blocking the way and you'll be okay. Should I call on the codec to get some advice? I don't think we've talked to that Nastasha lady yet. Maybe she can help us. No, Joe, you're doing fine. You haven't taken that much damage and the strategy is working fine. Besides, you didn't go through all of the trouble getting here just to fail now. Merrill and Sniper Wolf will die if you don't continue and make your way along to the end. Well, actually, Sniper Wolf is on the enemy's side, so she might live, but Merrill certainly won't. Oh, yeah, you're right. I have to do this for Merrill and Sniper Wolf. Otherwise, I'm going to be going to be dead or going home with Otacon. And I don't think that would be for the best. Can you imagine an ending to this game where him and Snake are the only ones who make it out? I can imagine that, but I don't really want to. Maybe he would actually give you a stealth suit after the game's over, too. No, we can't let that happen, Joe. You're the only one up for the task at hand. Uh, guys, I didn't know he could blow up the terrain. I'm not sure if I can keep up with that. At this point, I don't think you have that many choices. Yeah, I suppose not. Do you think me telling another one of my stories would help the situation at all? Joe, I can confidently say your stories will not help anything. Besides, you already told one on the stair trip up you've used your quota of one per video at a maximum. Once we go more than that, it kind of loses the value. Not that there was much to begin with, but still. Besides, he doesn't have that much health left, so as long as you can stay alive for just another few minutes, you should come out on top. Okay, fine, I'll just see what I can do myself even without my stories to distract. It appears as though you lost him. How did you lose something so obvious that was also shooting missiles at you? Seems like it's hard to miss. I don't know, he just went down and I have no idea when or if he's coming back up. Nice job, Joe. You shot one inch from your head and it nearly killed you. I don't know how you were alive, even with that body armor. Yeah, I made a little mistake and it just so happened to be a very explosive and point blank mistake. I'm not sure how your character can just brush that off like it's nothing, but I'm glad he can since you still have the thing shooting you from the sky. Yeah, I can see it now. It's pretty obvious. Try not to blow yourself up if you can. That's not a good strategy to fight this thing. Or at least it wasn't one of my top few ideas. I don't think you've given me any ideas that I haven't already tried, so I'm not sure what you mean by that besides he's already almost down. Ooh, nice job, Joe. It looks like his health bar is all the way down. I knew you could do it. Wait, what, his health bar is gone? Why isn't the fight ending? It looks like he's got one last attack in him. Better find a good spot.
I don't think either of them should have survived those explosions. It looks like Solid Snake at least will. See you in hell, Liquid. That takes care of the cremation. Uh, a classic and fitting line to end the fight with, Joe. You did well for the most part, and you should be proud you survived an encounter like that where you were definitely at the disadvantage. Thanks, Donald. I'm happy I got through it in one piece. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen. With that, I think it's time to finish the episode, since that was a lot of action from the beginning of the tower onwards. I'm glad we made it through with only a bit of arguing back and forth. And most of all, I'm glad Joe was more calm, which admittedly isn't saying much compared to last time, but it's still something. We'll be back with more of this game and others coming soon, so to see it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, people.